Hi folks, we came to Homewood, Illinois today because I was going to do some videos on the, some of the trains and that's going to be in a different video, but uh, we discovered that there are all these murals here painted by an artist named Richard Haas. Haas. How do you spell it? H-A-A-S? H-A-A-S. And so we're going to take you around Homewood, the downtown here, and show you some of these murals. They are really cool. This is a listing of all of the murals and a map of where they are. They are really cool and they pretty much match the businesses of the buildings that they're painted on. Let's go find them. Come along. The thing that drew me to Homewood, Illinois in the first place was its rail park, and I made a video about it. It's number 52. But as we were exploring, Heidi found a map of locations of murals by an artist named Richard Haas. The largest collection of his works is here in Homewood. There are 15 of them here, but his other major works are on walls inside and outside of buildings all over the United States, plus one in Munich, Germany. In Chicago, a very notable example of Haas's work is found at the 16-story building at 1211 North LaSalle. Haas's style of painting is called trompe l'oeil. Trompe l'oeil is French for deceive the eye, and it's likely that you've seen paintings in this style before. This example of a trompe l'oeil ceiling is from the 16th century San Ignacio Church in Rome, Italy. This use of perspective to give the illusion of greater space in a ceiling or wall dates back to Greek and Roman times. Richard Haas was born in Spring Green, Wisconsin in 1936 and is based in New York. He created his very first outdoor mural in 1974. Haas began designing the Homewood murals in the early 1980s and has been working on them for 35 years with Thomas Melvin Painting Studio. Haas provides a two-scale painting of the mural and Melvin paints the mural as well as touch-ups as needed. Haas was supposed to give a talk at the Homewood Science Center in March of 2020, but that has been postponed for now.
here is still a service station. This is now Pete's Auto. It was wonderful to discover these historic murals and see them in great shape and with vivid colors. If you're in the Chicago area or just passing through, consider spending an hour or two to see them for yourself.